Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. So, back down here, the creek bottom backs on the other end of the property. Um, this is the one you can hear. This is the, the end that's closer to the to the public road out there. Um, so I hear I hear traffic go by, branch away. Um, down here, as you can see, this actually, um, if you look back on the videos, I, uh, I guess it was our second year, um, second year on the property, and I decided to, I was going to clear, do a little clear cutting down here below the cabin, as you can see the, you can't really see the cabin, kind of see the, there. Kind of edge, but uh, I did a little um, pretty much clear cutting. But I, what I did is I went around, I cut a bunch of the cottonwoods. There's a lot of young cottonwoods, and I cut them down, you know, shorter. And I did that thinking, well, if this doesn't work, because we wanted to try some permaculture down here. And this ground down here originally, you know, and I've talked about it before, is. This whole area, man, I have said it uh, numerous times of, uh, you know, basically it's why we ended up getting this place for the price we got it for. Because we got it pretty dang cheap. Uh-oh, the light's blinking. It's not ready to go get a dang battery. So, uh, dang it, man, I hate when that happens. All right. So, it never fails, man, every time I start a video. I was going to show this little area here. So I'll get back on the thing. This is a, man, one of my favorite, favorite little areas here. And ponds up here. And then actually got runoff coming in here. And then this, man, this would be a great um, fishing hole right there if, but, uh, Oh, we've had, we've had uh, um, water stay in the uh, creek year-round, but for the most part, because of irrigation and stuff, and uh, irrigation, you know, water rights, which, man, that's a story I won't even go into, man. The first year I bought it, I seen in the um paper here and i probably talked about it that somebody was trying to get this camera back on this thing but uh we'd seen the first year we got here we'd seen that somebody was filing for you know water rights on our on our creek and man i hadn't been here long enough you know i didn't want to come in here and start causing a hoorah so i didn't uh Kind of looked into it as much as I could, but didn't get too crazy about it, man. If I could go back, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. My uncle Scott always told me. <laughs> but uh, I live by that, man. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. You can't live by woulda, coulda, shoulda. So uh, anyway, um, I didn't do nothing about it, you know, because I really didn't know, you know, exactly what the crick and how that all works. Well, the you know, depending on the depending on the runoff and everything like that, man, starting irrigating season, man, they uh they hold up a lot of the dang water. And I mean I had the and still, I mean, even you know, I have a lot of you know farm stuff going on right now, but when I had my goats and hogs and all that, I mean I could have definitely, you know, got water rights and I was you know, I just gotta read it and I ain't gonna get all into that. But anyway, so my creek, that's one of the reasons I don't hold fish, is it pretty much, man, I've seen it dry up completely, so it's more of a seasonal, but I have seen it, you know, in the past five years, uh, stay running all year, too, so it just kind of depends on what the heck the water's doing. But back to what I'm doing down here, so, as I was saying before the camera conked out, is I'd went along and I'd cut off the tops, because, man, this was so bad, and and it was amazing the first year we bought it i mean it was just it was so thick in here you know and you can see it looks pretty thick 
Well, there was a lot of big. I mean, it it was thick down in here. So I thought the first, you know, the second year we were here, I thought, well, I'm going to do permaculture, but down there because the, um, because like I've said, they've built up the ground, and I think I've shown it before. I mean, up where the cabin is, I mean, it goes up into the slope, but I mean, it's sitting up there six or eight feet higher because they made that for the RV park. What they did is they came into a wetland and made a, you know, brought a bunch of that shell rock and gravel in and packed it you know packed it in there and made the two roadways going into my place which now we're just down to one because i tore out the one for when we were flooding so but all this was a wetland and it's still a wetland so i thought permaculture down here you know because the water is so moist well, i'll tell you what man you can come down here in july and august and dig a um you know on a good runoff year you can come down here one uh shovel full man and you'll hit water so i mean it's definitely uh you know, it's too soggy and all that for the permaculture. The, the tomatoes didn't grow still, even with as much trees, because I got so much, you know, I was pretty forested down here. So pretty much, I uh, just couldn't get the sun in. So then I was kicking myself. I was like, what the heck did I cut all them trees down for? Well, last year, man, I just let it be. You know, you can see, I don't know if you've seen it a minute ago, that red, you know, I had uh, uh, kids' toys down here and stuff like that. And that red's a Clifford for the grandbabies, a sandbox. And we'd come down here and just sit down here and let the kids play down here. But other than that, I just didn't do anything. And now, um, what I want to do to this section is I still want to, I actually want to grow mushrooms down here. So instead of permaculture and all that, we're going to start trying to grow shiitake mushrooms and all that. I got some plugs, so, you know, I've plugged some logs and stuff like that. I got some more, I want to order some more plugs and stuff and start growing mushrooms down here and see how that goes because of the moisture. But I also want to, uh, there's a section over there where they've diverted, you know, the water so that it goes down the creek here. Well, there's two in here runoffs where the, where it used to naturally come through here. And there was actually swings so the kids used to come here, you know, years ago and actually, I think they, you know, play in the water and stuff down here. And it was more of a slough pond down here. And I actually want to turn this section kind of back into that. We'll see kind of how it plays out. But what I'm doing down here today is uh, all these cottonwoods. And, oh, man, there's a big one right here that snapped off. I'm actually going to bring that whole mother down. There's a big one right right here. You can see where, yep, right here. Um, that I dropped. I might have did that on video. And those, man, the cottonwoods, I'm just going to let them decay i'm kind of chopping over here i think where what i was sawing on them indigo was just cutting them up in smaller sections so i can kind of spread them out because man the cottonwood is just adds so many amazing i think it's second on the list on permaculture and it just adds so many amazing nutrients and the mushrooms this down here we find morels and all kinds of mushrooms and stuff salamanders frogs you know i mean this down here is just man i just love it down here just love it but uh so man that's what i'm doing down here today this afternoon this is actually you can see i'm still dressed like it was this is actually later uh later in the afternoon after that postcard video we did yesterday i was down here working and thought it might be a good thing to show a little bit of this and after i'd done that one i went back in and i wanted to show these two uh uh knives and i said now these are uh um russell green rivers and the blades are not as old as uh you know, man, I've had some old, old Russells, but Russell Green River Knife is the genuine, I mean, it's the true blue, you know, mountain man knife's what they used to carry. And then this one, I went ahead and picked, this one's mine, man. I just did this one up. You can see the Russell Green River on the blade, a little five pin. This baby's mine. Mine, mine, mine. So then, uh, this kitty started laughing because I said I was going to... You know sell one of them and this one I actually popped the handles off of this and uh, re riveted it, it um, they came together pretty dang nice there's a little gapping in the handle right here but man it's a nice man I wanted to keep this one too but I guess I'll she doesn't think I need to be carrying two of them even though I got three knives on me right now <laughs> not counting these two but uh, so that's a little Green River, man, a little bit smaller on the back here. Oops. And this one's got the two big pins with the one pin in front. 
Like I said, man, there's a little bit of, I could have sanded down more, but I just want to make them, you know, I make them, every knife I make, man, I put in my hand, you know, and I want to make sure, you know, that it's smaller, which this one's actually got a way smaller handle than, you know, the bigger one. Miss Kitty actually talked about keeping the smaller one for herself, but, uh, um, anyway, against my better judgment, <laughs> this one will be on eBay, that oh hillbilly later today. Man, it, it's nice. Well, there's those. And then, uh, um, I'm gonna do some more sun. I think I'm gonna take you for a little jaunt here, man. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can figure this out. Hold on. <laughs> All right, of course I got Kai. So man, this is the kind of, this is the stuff. I mean, it is thick and crazy. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's do this thing for this. A lot easier if I don't fall on my face. All right. All right. So you can see this. And of course, this is my dog, you know, there's this dogwood right here that I've been trying to clear it out. This is actually dogwood here. And that's what I build that, the twig furniture and stuff out of. This piece, so I'm hoping to help. There's more over here. Hoping to help it, uh, um, I want it to just prosper and just get huge. And this section down here, see, man, you can see how the, other runoff and stuff here. We found a patch of morels here two years ago. You see the, uh, so this is where the one runs in. And this man just gets crazy with, uh, man, the frogs and pollywogs and stuff. When the kids get older, man, it'll uh, be an awesome place for them to catch that. And it's, that there is probably five foot deep. So that. I'm going to go take you on this other end. Might as well take a little, take a little trip with me. I'm going to check out this side. And all this, the stuff we're going through right here is mostly cottonwood, you know, so it doesn't tear you up. But you got to watch it, man, because there's a lot, of, a lot of dang hawthorn down in here, too. So, I mean, it's, uh, man, I'm kind of bummed this, uh, this one right here, man, fell off, and it was pretty dang rotten. But it, uh, man, the owls and stuff, or actually I think it was that one right there. There was an old one, an old uh, dead one, though, you know, the top had fell off. There's your ball, Kai. Uh, top had fell off, man, and there's the owl would sit up there, and you'd see all kinds of different uh, birds and all that but you can see man there's a lot of it's thick down here this is all stuff I'm wanting to um, you know get this all cleared out and you can see up here is the that's actually one of my my sheds that used to be the old uh, um, bathhouse you know the bathhouse and all that originally now it's kind of a cat cat shed and you can see the creek up there that's right behind the cabin or the vagabond but I want to get these banks cleared out and then also I'm gonna ride along in all these up under them banks and them root systems is some of the stuff I want to want to test pan see if I find anything in those It'd be kind of cool so man, you can just see a lot of a lot of dang work and then remember two it's the goats, the old goat's house. I had the goats down in here for a while. And this is the big chunk of, uh, big chunk. That one we got back from, a. Uh, actually I think it was when we got back from Uncle Earl's the first time up there. Came back and this mother had landed here but missed all my, missed all my buildings by that much. So that was, uh, that was a good thing. You can see right there's the, there's the forge and everything right there. But that, uh, the kid stuff. So all this, man, I just got to get all this right now, man. It's just like, holy heck. I'll get all that cleaned up. And you can see it just holds water everywhere down in here. So, 
So that's what I'm doing today, man. For the rest of the day. And then actually we're getting ready to uh see spots on that dang lens again. Sorry about that. <laughs> but uh we're getting or this evening we are uh going to uh go over and watch the grandbabies. I'm gonna go over there and play this new video game that the kids are playing. It's like some crazy intense thing, some war thing they're playing, something you play live. Man, they got so amazing. So I'm gonna do a little play to that and then we're actually taking the Lincoln Logs over. They were actually the Lincoln Logs my mom had that my kids played with and she gave them to us. And we're keeping a uh, bump as a Mimas for them to play when they come over here. But um, we're gonna take them over there and play with them. Build some, build some cabins over there on the floor with them tonight, so that'll be fun. That's about, uh, that's about it, man. That's what I'm doing the rest of the day until it's time to go watch grandbabies. And so, got a little work cut out for me, so. Good Lord willing and the cricks don't rise. We'll see you again real soon.